Mount St. Helens has seen an increase in earthquake activity. 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park in just the past. Six meteorologist Josh Kozar explains. Mount St. Helens quakes ripple into Yellowstone. Could this trigger a supervolcano eruption? The ground is restless again in America's most famous volcanic landscapes. Scientists from the U.S. Geological Survey, USGS, reported a swarm of earthquakes. Beneath Mount St. Helens in Washington state, one of the most dangerous and closely watched volcanoes in the United States. Shortly after, seismometers in Yellowstone National Park recorded a magnitude 4.0 earthquake, rattling the region and sparking renewed fears. Could these two volcanic giants be connected? Could this be the beginning of Yellowstone's long dreaded eruption? Mount St. Helens, signs of a restless giant. Mount St. Helens, which erupted catastrophically in 1980, Killing 57 people and reshaping the Cascade Range landscape has always been under the eye of volcanologists. The current swarm hundreds of small quakes occurring in quick succession suggest that magma or hot fluids are moving beneath the mountain, slowly recharging the system. Scientists emphasize, however, that swarms like this are not unusual. Since its last explosive eruption in 2008, Mount St. Helens has experienced periodic shaking without escalating into a full eruption. What matters most is the type of quakes recorded. Short, brittle fracture quakes can mean simple rock cracking, while sustained tremors often signal magma rising. So far, the data shows minor reactivation not imminent eruption. Yellowstone rumbles, a magnitude 4.0 surprise. While Mount St. Helens shook with swarms, Yellowstone, over 560 miles away, felt its own jolt. A 4.0 earthquake, moderate but noticeable, rippled across the park. Visitors reported the ground trembling beneath the steaming geysers and hot springs, a reminder that Yellowstone rests atop a massive volcanic caldera. Earthquakes in Yellowstone are common between 1,500 and 2,000 occur, each year often clustering as swarms. Most are too small to feel caused by underground fault shifting or hydrothermal water moving violently in cracks. A quake at 4.0 is on the stronger side for Yellowstone, but still considered moderate and within normal background activity Are the two volcanoes linked? The timing of the Mount St. Helens swarm and the Yellowstone quake has led to speculation about a possible connection. However, scientists are firm. There is no geological link. Distance matters. The volcanoes are separated by hundreds of miles. A solid crust. Stress changes at one volcano cannot simply jump across such distances to trigger another system. Independent systems. Mount St. Helens sits on the Cascade subduction zone, where the Juan de Fuca plate dives beneath North America. Yellowstone, by contrast, is fueled by a mantle hotspot, a plume of rising heat independent of plate tectonics. Different behaviors. St. Helens produces frequent smaller eruptions of ash and lava domes, while Yellowstone's activity is dominated by geysers, hydrothermal explosions, and slow crustal uplift. As 
one geologist put it, they may both be restless giants, but they sleep in different rooms. How scientists watch for danger. Both volcanoes are some of the most heavily monitored in the world. At Mount St. Helens, a network of seismometers, GPS stations, and gas sensors tracks the movement of magma. Satellites watch for swelling of the mountain, which would hint at an eruption preparing underground. At Yellowstone, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, keeps watch with dozens of seismic stations, ground deformation sensors, and real-time monitoring of geyser and hot. Spring chemistry, the USGS stresses that there are no signs of immediate eruption at either site. No harmonic tremors, the telltale volcanic heartbeat have been detected. And ground uplift at Yellowstone remains within its long-term background fluctuations Could Yellowstone really erupt? The question lingers. What if Yellowstone erupts? Yellowstone has erupted three times in the last 2.1 million years, the most recent being 640,000 years ago. These were super eruptions, truly catastrophic events, but they are extremely rare in Earth's history. Scientists estimate the chance of another super eruption occurring in the next few thousand years is less than 0.00014% per year. More likely, are hydrothermal explosions, powerful bursts of steam and rock from the park's hot springs and geysers or smaller. Lava flows like those seen 70,000 years ago. These would be disruptive locally but nothing close to the apocalyptic scenarios often imagined. Why the fear persists, public fascination and fear around Yellowstone persists because of the sheer scale of its caldera and its supervolcano label. Movies, documentaries, and speculative reports have painted the eruption as a global disaster. The recent coincidence of activity at Mount St. Helens and Yellowstone naturally fuels this anxiety, even if science says otherwise. The scientific verdict for now, both volcanic systems remain stable. Mount St. Helens is breathing, but not erupting. Yellowstone shook with a modest quake, but nothing points to magma on the move. No cause and effect connection exists between the two.